God's day. Listen, God's day, God's day. I didn't. He'll be back shortly, but I did not get my tamarind. <laughs> I'm going to have to get it out of the car. Like, for real, for real. Well, it's in the truck with him. Yeah. I thought I had but it's in the yeah. I don't have it. But let me start from the beginning, y'all. God's day. God's thankful Thursday. Thanking God. Thanking God. We don't made it this far. I'm gonna behave today. I'm gonna do my best to behave today. But um I like it's too loud. Y'all can still hear it. But thanking God for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, giving us all the activities of our limbs. Giving us a brand new day that wasn't promised to us. Even though it's 420 in the afternoon, God is still amazing. He's still good because he don't keep us this far. And he just keep on keeping us, keep on covering us. So I'm grateful to God that he didn't recycle yesterday and give it back to us, to us again today. He gave us a brand new day. It was not promised to any of us. So welcome to God's Day. It's your first time here. Welcome. Um, we talk about any and everything from church, house, family, religion, whatever. We talk about everything. Okay. So, if you hear a topic that you just be like, they talking about that? Absolutely, we are. We're going to talk about it. Um, no explicit, uh, negative, putting those down, bashing people. We're not doing none of that. The rest of the stuff, we're going to talk. Miss Tracy! Listen, Miss Tracy. Hold on. Let me hold on for a second. So, any of those things, that's what we do. So, we just try to have a great time, try to love the Lord, and just have, like yesterday. Yesterday, I guess we did too much. They popped me off of her twice yesterday. Two times. Oh, no, those. Okay. They got rid of me twice. So I had to come back the third time and close it on out. But um, we had some church yesterday. Like, if y'all didn't have church yesterday, know that I did. And I probably did all by myself. I don't play the whole tamarind that was not a tamarind. Like, I got to get with my husband get back. I have to find the, the tamarind. I know I put it in my car. If it Somebody done, I got the fight. Um, you got to you listen, listen. So I had to do a, a makeup tambourine. Miss Tracy, I was going to get ready to get ready. tell you. We had some church yesterday. Like, we went all the way. <laughs> we went all the way in. And I had to think about it afterwards. I said, I acted up yesterday. I acted up today. That's what I said yesterday. I acted up. So, you know, I got my little maple leaf. It's a top of a bowl. Don't judge me. My tamarind was in the car and I needed it. So this was the best thing I can find, which is a top of a bowl. Listen. So I had to, so I get my tamarind. Now, my tamarind, I have to walk from over here because it's loud. I don't play quietly. Okay? This is this is not a tamarind. It's not for you to be sitting up here just shaking it. It ain't for that. Okay? It's for you to use all of it. Mine's got a few symbols missing, and I'm all right with that, but it's the, it's the sound that is the quality of what you need, okay? All that other stuff, mm, listen, don't, I'm not going to even start with that. We're going to behave today. <laughs> Acting up for Jesus. When I tell you, my brother had to call me. My young, my, well, he's not my younger brother, my middle brother. He called me early, and we talked for a minute, and he was like, I love what you, you know, what you did. You know, you had I had church over here. This look, this little space I got over here. I don't tell all this up. I, I know I did. I know I told her. Okay. And grateful wasn't nobody here. I think the caller. She probably was. Sweet. I don't know what she was doing. Let come on, tambourine. I seen that tambourine. Listen. What's my? What till he get back? I'm gonna have to excuse myself, and I just want to go get it just so y'all know that it's not. Listen. It's, it's, I'm for real about that. Now, I can't play no other instrument. I know little, one little song on the piano or whatever. But when it comes to the tamarind, we was playing tamarinds when we was like five, three. They started putting tamarinds in your hand when you was in bitty. So by the time you got up to almost my age, and you can kill a tamarind and don't let it be quiet. And they got their little, they trying to wind up with the pastor saying, hold on. They trying to quiet it down for a second because they want you to hold on. And you just be like, okay. He's saying, hold on, y'all. And he up there, well, you know the Lord, it been good. They doing all that. By that time, while he's doing that, either you go, we finna, this praise break that's right here, right now, or we finna 
towel this up. This is me. You hear it is? And I had my, my husband had to tell me once before. He said, you're so disobedient. That man told you to sit down and put that tambourine down and you get I need you to be obedient. When somebody tell you to do something, when the pastor tell you to do something, you need to do it. And I said, oh. I thought he was just playing. I didn't know. I felt that it was all down in my spirit. So uh, what I did was I had to go on and grab it and I had to go on and go. And he kept saying, listen, you're going to have to you gonna have to sit down. You're going to have to quiet it down. You're going to you're gonna have to let that. When them folks tell you to do something, you got to do it. You got to sit on down. I say, oh, it was really good to me. It was real good to me. So I had to go on ahead and handle that. So, yeah, I don't have it yet, so y'all pray for me. But we're going to behave today. We're going to do better with, um, listen, I don't know. I don't know him who told him to do that. Whew. Yeah, something else. Um, but, yeah, we had to go on and do that. Listen. I'm already in, but listen, by that time, it's hard to stop once you get started. That's why I tried to stop yesterday. But by every time I looked up, they popped me off of here, and I had to come back. I said, oh, the devil is busy. You don't want me to praise God. Now, I'm the honest bishop started that um, Tuesday night with praise and worship. So I was telling people the difference between praise and worship when it came down to songs. Like, when you were, when you, what songs are you picking? I said, I went back to the 80s and played some songs from the 80s. That was my era that I know about. And that's what uh, worship was to me or to, you know, I'm, I can only speak. This is a personal thing. Hey, sir. Listen, God's day. I'm going to behave today. God's day. Welcome. But I, I, I I'm, yeah, I'm going to behave today. But we were showing, I was playing songs that was um, from, like I said, I'm from the 80s. So that era when you heard songs that, that ministered to you, they got your whole life in order, they got you all the way together, it wasn't no need and I don't set up here and I don't lay it out <laughs> yesterday, if y'all go back to the live from yesterday you're probably like, why did she have three? they kept kicking me off and I wanted to play my make, make my uh, make believe tamarind since mine wasn't here at the time um, listen, you got to have, listen who said you can't have church when you're not in the building, You can, that church is within you anyway, you letting all of that out and when you start thinking about how good God has been to you and how he has brought you through and he keep on keeping you, he keep on covering you when everybody around you is, is going through and, and, and going, and they don't know what to do. You already know who you can call on. You can't call your friend. She ain't going to answer the phone. You can't call your man because he won't answer the phone. You can't call your home. You, you can't call nobody, your mama, your daddy, your cousins, that person, that ghost person that you always call. You can't call them because they too busy. They don't want to hear it. They ain't got time for you. They don't want to answer the telephone. You know who you can call on. You call on Jesus. Listen, he going to answer every time. Every, that's what the old folks is. My grandma used to say that. Every time he going to answer the phone. That means I mean it. When I, mean, when I say words that it's not the norm, that means I mean it. Okay? But every, every time that you, you call him, I don't care what time of night, what time of day it is, every time you call him, he's going to answer. You're going to be like, oh, my. But your friend, your homegirl, your, your, your significant other, your hum, none of them will answer the phone. He's going to answer. answer. He's going to be right on time. Get exactly what you need when you need it. Okay? So, that's why I say when you're doing that, you start thinking about the goodness God is. What you could have been a part of, what you've seen happen to somebody else, it didn't happen to you. This virus skipped over you and went to somebody else. It ain't touched your household. Look at God. Listen, I'm not going to start today. I said I was going to behave. But you start thinking about that kind of stuff. Like, you know where I could have been right now? You know how God could have just took me out? And when I was at my worst and when I wasn't even thinking about giving him praise, when I wasn't even thinking about him at all, you know where I could have been? Listen, I'm not even about to I'm not even about to do it. I'm not about to do it. I said I was gonna behave today and I'm gonna do my best to behave. Jordan! I needed you yesterday, friend. God say, how are you? Listen, I'm telling you, when you think about the goodness that God has brought you from, he has brought you over, brought you through. You don't care about nobody else and nothing else. That's why I say that worship. That's intimate. That's personal. That's between you and God. You don't care about who looking at you. You feel like, oh, I got that ugly cry. You looking out. That's what Bishop say. You got that. You got to look ugly for the Lord. When you start looking toe up from the flow up all the way around, listen, you already know. Listen, God, I'm giving you all of this because this, I've been through some stuff and I got to let this, I got to let this go. I don't care about who come in here, who looking at me, who see me. What if they want to just, yeah, ha, ha. But I tell you one thing, I'm getting this for me. You better get your while you trying to look at me and laugh at me while I'm getting mine. 
pussy. We used to do that when we was little. We used to laugh at people when they were shouting and how they were shouting and listening. We used to tap up, you know, just have a good time. Ain't that right, Jonathan? <laughs> we used to act up in church because we didn't understand. We weren't going through the stuff. You know, you had your teenage stuff or your little, your little kid stuff or whatever, you, you know, school stuff. And we thought, you know, everything went serious because you didn't have real bills. You weren't a real adult. You weren't really doing stuff. So it didn't even matter. But now that you you got like life, you start looking back and say, "What was wrong with me back then?" Like God could have took me out then. You know how silly I was. You know the things that I used to do. You know the places I used to go. You know the people I used to hang out with. You know I wasn't supposed to be there, but I was there. I was doing this. I was doing that, and God kept me. Listen, I'm almost thirty nine. Next week, listen on Wednesday. Listen, we down to six days. <laughs> we down to six days. Listen, I'm just telling y'all, it's going to be, uh, listen, un- unapologetically praising him. What? It, listen, I apologize for why, and I mean it just like that. Apologize for why. the g- Miss Felicia, God save. The amazingness that he does for you is just like you just can't even hold on and keep this to yourself. You got to share it with somebody. You know, when somebody starts saying, have y'all seen, y'all know y'all seen a video be looking at you see somebody else shadow. You see somebody else praising God. And you got some people that just be sitting up there. And, yeah. Yeah, mm-mm, baby. Go on over there. Because that's the non-praiser section. I'm in the praising section. I ain't got time for that. This is for me. Listen, you don't want none of this I got. Go on over there. Because I, I got to get this. You know what? You seen, you seen accidents. You seen cars flip over. You seen people going to the hospital and not coming back out. You don't been to funerals. We don't watch plenty of funerals on social media. We don't see a lot of rip, R-I-L. We don't see a lot of that. That ain't you, though. That's not you. You woke up. You opened up your beautiful eyes. You can still hear. You can still see. Listen, you can still breathe. You got breath in your body. Some people are needing oxygen. You can still breathe. And you're not going to give God praise? <laughs> the lie. Why won't you? I'm just saying, I said I wasn't going to act up to them or behave. Let me simmer down. Let me simmer down. I'm just saying, it, the, when you think about it, you'd be like, good Lord, you know what, God? They could have been, I could have had an obituary out for my name, but you didn't see fit for none of that to happen. <laughs> Listen, you didn't see fit for none of that to happen. It might have been to, to somebody I know. It might have been to somebody else, but it wasn't me. Listen, to be on top of the ground and not the ground on top of you, <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to help you because I'm hitting myself. I told you when I talk, I be most of the time I be hitting myself. Listen, that's not my section. Come on, Miss Tracy. I'm in the praising section, and my son looked at me. He's my mama because I get it started. I pick up that tamarind and I get it started, and he be like, "No, no, uh, one day you gonna wish you hadn't done the uh." I promise you, all them times you should have been praising God and grabbing something to get your praise on. You won't be doing all that. You better get your life in order. I promise you. You better start doing that right now. I told you, get that being out your mouth. Listen, listen. Start doing this right here. Get that being out your mouth. You don't want listen. That means you really trying to. When you doing this, you kind of scared. You see me? I don't know if I should raise my hand or not. No, I am. Here it is. All of me. If, I could, if I'm setting up, I wish I could lift up both my legs and be like, Lord, here is all of me. It's all of me. I'm getting it to you, Lord. I'm giving it to you. Hey, lady, how are you guys, Dave? Listen, when you think about it, you start taking off running. You be like, whoop, whoop. Start thinking, just taking off running. You don't know where life is going to lead you. You don't know what, what road you're going to go down. You don't know how God is going to, uh, the devil going to try to take you out. He's going to try. I didn't say he was, but he's going to try to take you out. Then what you going to do? Listen, you better start praising them in advance. Is that more of a tactic I said song, praising them in advance? Just before you, that, that storm, we should talk about that storm the other day. Before that storm even hits your house, before it hits your face, before it comes into your atmosphere, he already don't took care of it. Come on. You ain't got to go through the way the other person went through when they had that same storm. You had to got a different one. Come on, because you already know, as Miss Tracy say, who your daddy is. Come on. You already know who your daddy is, so you ain't got to worry about all that other stuff. Whatever everybody else went through. That ain't got nothing to do with you. I got a different plan for you. He got a different way of life. I'm supposed to talk about something else. Okay. I just remember this about yesterday and how good yesterday was. I helped myself and I'm something I really thought about it. I'm not apologizing for yesterday because yesterday I needed that for me. But the way I acted, I said, Lord Jesus, that I'm 
probably and my brother had to call me. He's my yeah. I can't even say nothing. He's my man. Yeah, that that was needed. That was needed. Listen, who's your daddy? Come on, Miss Tracy. Who's your daddy? Cause I know who mine is. You better get your daddy on your, on your side. You better get him on with you. I'm telling you, it's too much happening out here. Every day we started seeing these numbers going up, 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 and you know, ain't nobody asking because I'm not a part of no committee. But the 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 way life is going right now, you don't want to know who your dad is. Like, why? Like, when all this happened, I would have, if I didn't know who he was, I would have been like, you know what? It might not be many churches that's open, that's open but let me, you know, I was with recommendations. I'm looking for a mechanic. I'm looking for a nail shop. Say, who, who church is open? How many times do you see that posting when they're looking for recommendations? Do you ever see somebody say, who church is open? I'm looking for a recommendation because I'm trying to find a church. Ain't nobody doing that. I ain't seen nobody do that. I seen nail shop. I seen uh, mechanics. I seen car lots. I seen credit repair people. I seen all kinds of stuff. Who gonna put me put that? Who's the bold one that's gonna say what church is open? What time your church open? You having virtual church? Can you tag me in when y'all go live? Can you do that? Can you share that with me? Ain't nobody doing that. Is that your recommendations to look for other things? Where is God? Maybe you have him. I'm not talking to the ones that I'm not. Hey, so please don't jump on me and say, oh, she got, oh my gosh, she's talking about me. She don't think I have him. No, no, no. I'm talking about the ones that, that put everything else before him. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have that everything else. Yes or right? If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be where you are. Yes or right? I'm just asking questions maybe somebody may want to know the answer to and nobody's giving them the answer, so I'm going to answer you. What's your question? Because I can answer you. I'm going to do my best to answer you. Listen, let me see what y'all say. <laughs> get the bend out your bow. Come on. You got to get your bend out your bow. Listen. Listen. We got to... Listen. People don't want to... You want to be scared and be like, oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And your hands is right here. Can you see this? Even the police can't see this. They Okay, I just thought about something else. The police don't even want your hands right here because they don't know how you too close to your own self body. They want you to so they can see it. How can they see it right here? You you I know God can see everything. He can see it all. But why would you want to give him this and he don't give you all this? I know you can't see out. He don't give you all of this. But you giving him this. This is your return. This is your this is what you giving back to God. Really? Like, come on now. We gotta do better. Stretch out. Give it all to him. Don't worry about these people looking at you. They're gonna laugh at you. You know they talked about Jesus. We not different. It's it's a part of Okay. I said I wasn't gonna act up today. I'm gonna be I'm gonna behave because, you know, I don't you know, I'm a I'ma behave. I'm I'm definitely gonna behave. Okay. Let me I'm go back because, you know, let me, let me go back because, you know, it's it's some stuff I heard that people don't like to, and it just, it seems like things can be a whole lot different if we just be, um, have that, that contagious, that contagious love or that contagious, uh, spirit of just praising God or just worshiping God. We have that, that whole entire thing that we can just pass. Be like, okay, yeah. Well, that's what we do. We hype each other up at church and New Freeman. We hype each other up. So we can be back there and she be on stuff. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hype you up. You giving God praise. Let me help you. We finna do this together. And we'll be looking at each other, be like, yeah, yeah. We don't care. We don't. We don't even care. I don't care about you looking at me. I'm hype, and it's all about Jesus. I'm rowdy, and it's all for Jesus. I'm, I'm this is me. Like I had a uh, conversation with one of my friends the other day. And we was talking about it. She said, I'm the same person as when you see me on Facebook. I'm that person when you see me in person. I said, well, me too. I said, I got that post. I've been posting that for years. I'm the same person on social media. Say Facebook. But I'm the same person on social media as I am in person. Like, that's not going to change. Like, it takes too much work. Okay. To be somebody else. Like, it takes too much work to try to portray and be... And you got to keep up with it's too much. I got already 85, 9,025 9, million jobs as is. And then and I'm not, I don't have time to portray and be somebody else and then try to come back to my life. They're like, it's too much. I know people do it like actors or whatever, but they getting paid to portray the person. 
for that moment and go on. But you know you trying to do it to satisfy other people. Eventually that lie come out or eventually your real self is going to come out. You can only be somebody else for so long. Then you got to go back to your own self and be be yourself. So all that portraying to be something that you, come on now. Come on. It's just, it's too much work. It's too much work. And I just, it's too much work. I, like, I just can't do it. I got to keep being who I am. Okay. Um, get your pen. Okay. I seen that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Felicia. I'm praising him because it was not a, it was not my number. Just to wake up. Listen. Miss, oh, I didn't even see your sister. My, how are you? You got to say. Listen. It, it, listen. When he didn't call your name, your name didn't pop up on the, on the roll of decks for it to be your time to leave this earth. <laughs> listen. I'm going to do my best. I said I was going to behave hey, today. And I, 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 I really going to try. Because I ain't going to be um, on here anyway. Um, that long anyway, cause um, let me show y'all. I know y'all heard me play this one before. Okay, that's the. No, I love you. I do love you. I do. Love you. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening in and all my craziness, cause I just fly by whatever. I'm. I I know I'm rowdy and and throwed off, and it's you know it's a loud session going on. And for those that are on the podcast, they probably just gonna be like, you know what? It's something really wrong with that guy. And I'm okay with that. I admit it's something wrong with me. I'm all right with that. I I love for something to be wrong with me when it's for good things. Okay? So I'm all right with that. I know I know what's I know what's wrong with me. I know God knows what's wrong with me. All right? It ain't nothing wrong with me, but I'm just saying. It's something, you know, that some people just cannot handle. They're just not able to uh, uh, deal with it. So it is what it is. But I just try to make sure that the um the love that I have for God is passed on to other people uh, because it is important to to um, let other people know who God is and know how important he it is to have him you know because a lot of times we so afraid we don't want to tell nobody about him we don't want to we don't want to we, we don't want nobody to know that we saved or we believe in God so people just don't and I, you don't pressure nobody Make them. You just give them. You just say how you feel about stuff and leave it alone. And it is what it is. And a lot of people I know they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to handle it. You don't want to deal with it. All you want to do is just do your thing. Hey, it is what it is. Um, as I, I've stated before, I think my husband had this conversation. You gonna you gonna need him voluntary and involuntary. Like that's just the, the pastor or the preacher. You gonna need him voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary, you just voluntary yourself. Go to church and. Do you know be uh, uh working and doing what you're supposed to be doing when it comes down to that? Or involuntary, you're gonna wait till you leave here and they're gonna roll you down the aisle. Okay, that's your involuntary. You didn't volunteer to do that, but you, I mean, it is what it is. So, voluntary and involuntary, you're gonna be here. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I think I'm going down this road today. I was trying not to um, go down the road today. I was trying to be all you know have some you know some sense that my mama gave me and too, when you when you think about how good guys been to you let me just listen i'm gonna do this one and then i'm gonna uh i go get too too far off into it because i know me and this one here is long anyway so y'all know this is my thing song this is my thing song for real Making sure this chord don't get stuck. <laughs> Y'all know this is my jam. It's my theme song. It like got all the words in it. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me.
just another number. Come on. But you didn't see fit to let none of these things be. Because <laughs> every day by your power, you keep on keeping me. Thank you, Lord. Another number with a tragedy. Come on, listen. coming up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Listen. Wow. My favorite, my favorite, favorite part coming up. No place to sleep. me Turning me 
listen, the goodness that God has done for you, and I'm not going to thank you. Like, I'm not going to thank you. Oh. No, I'm thanking him. Absolutely. Absolutely thanking him. Like, for whatever. Waking me up. That by itself, just to open up your own self eyes. And I said it. Yes, I did. And I mean it. Just like I said. You open up your own self eyes. You open up your own self eyes. It is yours. But it belongs to him. But you buy to the Dallas if some people to get dialysis you're not going down there to get chemo radiation you're not going there to do none of that you, you giving away you going around by yourself you don't need assistance no type of way to go to the grocery store to come wait till somebody come drive you somewhere listen, listen you know you don't have the virus or if you did you recover for those that recover alright I said I wasn't going I wasn't <laughs> I said I wasn't going to answer today I said I was going to be happy but you know what I used to again like wow, God brought me a my long way. If I was a person that I was ten years ago, I'm not talking about me, I'm just saying in general. If I was a person I was ten years ago, you know I should have been gone. You know I should have been messed up. I, I, I was messed up. You know God should have took me out then, but he decided to hold on to me and just keep me keep me wrapped in his love and arms. Like he keep on covering me when everything around me is failing. He's not failing. Listen, you can't even put a negative in with him. <laughs> like people talk about him, don't, you know, he won't. I didn't even go down that road. I'm not even doing it. But you got people that doing out there, and we not, I was supposed to talk about something else. I was supposed to talk about something else, and I didn't. You know, we stopped supposed to talk about something else, and this all came up. But I said I was going to pay for that because I know yesterday I did add up, and it was all for the goodness of God. There's no apology. I'm not apologizing for it, but it was well needed, and I needed it for me. So, when you think about all of those things that God has brought you through, even today, when you woke up, you know you was how you felt when you went to bed last night. But you got up this morning, you kept on pushing up. That's why I say, even if, if it's cloudy outside and raining, it's not your best weather. I think it should be just bright and breezy and sunny every day. Even though it's not the best weather for you, you can still make a great day out of that. Why does it have to be a bad, that's bad weather outside? Who said it's bad? You know what else kills me? Hey, lady. Six days to my birthday. 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 I'll make up a whole song by myself. <laughs> hey, Miss Watson, how are you guys? <laughs> Six days to my birthday. Because I've been acting up. I have. I don't. I've been acting up. I've, I've, I've been acting up. I cannot tell the story. Been acting up, but hey guys, day for those that just joined. Oh, I'm sorry if I miss y'all when y'all popped up on here. But listen, when I got started about you know how good God has been to you, listen, it, it's listen. Hey, how are you? I'm thinking, I'm just not seeing it. I got, I got it. You know, I'm caught up. But just think about the goodness God has done for you. People complaining. I was playing, thank you, Lord. It, it don't, it don't, it don't remix. It don't. It started. Chicka chicka started playing on its own something else. But you know. I'm just saying, God has just been so good to us, and we're not even thanking Him. We're ready to go back to norm. But is the norm the best idea? Is it the right thing to do? Is to go back to norm? And I'm saying it like 
that because that means have you learned your lesson? We've been on punishment for what, about two or three months now. Um, have we learned our lesson? The punishment that God has put, you know, when your mama puts you on punishment, you get in trouble, you're supposed to learn something from that. I, if I don't want to get on punishment, I don't want to do that no more. If I don't want to do that, I don't do that no more. So let me act like I got friends and not have go back down that road again. But then, you know, so have we learned our lesson? Because everybody's just ready. I'm ready to drink. I'm ready to get back to the club. I'm ready to go do this. I'm ready to go do that. Have we learned our lesson? We've been on total, like, not total lockdown because they still got some foolishness out there. We've been on, on punishment all this time. Have we learned our lesson? Are we still doing the same foolishness that before we went into this situation that we learned from? You, you need to be knowing that, that how you supposed to get closer to God this time. Get closer to your family. The streets been clean. The people have been better. You know, whatever. You've been learning how to love again. I know it's been some abusive situations and stuff like that. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about other things that we have been or should be better at, but we're ready to go back to the norm. And it's a reason for all of this being shut down. It wasn't just because, you know, this virus is out there. God is see, you don't see it here, it's here now. So, what are we doing with our time? Are we are actually getting closer to him, or we just going with, with the flow? I'm just going to go with the flow. They say we can open back up stuff, I'm just going to go with the flow. Y'all see my nails, man. Y'all know y'all ain't never seen me like this. I mean, wait, now, I didn't know Harry, you see? Is, are we ready to go back to normal? Are we ready to just settle down and pay attention to what God has been trying to tell? I told y'all months and months and months ago. I know it was back in October, November when that storm came through and, and the car needed to get right off of 35. And um, I think it was somewhere else. And I think by the time they calculated all the tornadoes, I think it was like 12, 14 tornadoes and all. And I remember leaving Papa Dose that day, so it was October. He was leaving Papa that day and we didn't even know so I was going off it's hell and it's raining hard the winds were high me and my husband were driving home we didn't hear the siren but we didn't know which direction it was pitch black outside power lines is down there was no power at these gas stations people are pulling over hey how are you guys day people are pulling over they're going here and there and everywhere and they're trying to find cover we parked up under a couple of trees or uh, some little thing people going up under the carports at the um at the car washes because they're trying to find protection. But we was driving, trying to get home from Cedar Hill or whatever it was, trying to get home. And all of a sudden, all of these things are happening. Not knowing which direction this, this tornado was coming in. And then we had some of our young people from the church. They were driving home. And they was headed in the direction that the tornado had touched down at. But God covered them. God covered everybody. Even people may have told they caused it. It might have been some debris flying or whatever. Nobody died out of that storm. And you just like, when has... Texas really had a lot of tornadoes. When have they had really had a lot of bad storms and stuff? Like you had some some wind or whatever. But in that demeanor, you just like, God is trying to get our attention. Y'all remember Hurricane Katrina down there in New Orleans? Look how he tore up the whole city. But everybody ready to get back to normal. Can we pay attention to this? You know how people we have to kill? Bishop got a servant that said, what did the Lord have to do for you to see him? I don't know if that's that might not have the exact title right. But in, a, in other words, what do we have to remove from your in order for you to see him because evidently you're not seeing him yet. what do I have to do in order for you to see me what do I have to do for you to take time out to know that I'm still here like hey don't forget about me don't, don't miss me what do we have to do how do we have to and I'm not saying necessarily somebody have to die but who do we have to move from your life who do you have to push away from you so you can see him because something is distracting you from seeing him so with this virus we don't have um, people don't want so they don't got a chance to clean up some stuff. They don't went to the got closer to their family, to their husband, to their children. They don't did all of these things that they normally wouldn't do because of this that happened. And he's just like, okay. So now you got time to read the Bible because you didn't have time before. You got time to pray to pray to me because you didn't have time before. You actually want to go to church, but they, they your church that you was going to that you sent my mother, you ain't been going back. So okay, I'm, I'm giving you a little credit, but you so you. I'm ready to get back to the norm. I'm ready to get out. I'm ready. I got all this. I don't get all that. Really? Have you, have you really learned your lesson? I'm not saying everybody because I know a lot of us, we know who God is. We know, this. like I said a few minutes ago, I'm straight to tell us. Um, I know who my daddy is. Listen, so 
it's not that you don't um uh, have his glass how are you got to say it's not that you don't um you don't know who he is but i'm just talking about people that may not know or they have put god on the back burner they have just got just put him back here and he's not a, a, a priority we should talk about that too that he's not a priority in your life when you start making god a priority see how things change for you you got to do things that are, everything that, that you've been doing you know like like the things you you know it's the, it's the norm hey i get up and i you know wash my face brush my teeth you know i pray all the time whatever i'm just talking in general and you you get up and you do your daily activity and then you just where god in any of that is god in anything that you do is he ahead is he the beginning of everything that you do hey how are you isaiah or is he anything that you do is he ahead of anything that you do are you just ready to just get back and say hey lord i pick you up when i get time we ain't got time I'm saying it just like we said it. We don't have we we don't have time to wait until we get everything together. That's why a lot of people say I'm gonna get married when I get my money right. You might not ever get your money right. Then you don't been living where you been living all this time because you waiting on money situation. Anything happened? People have been laid off in this situation. People are not getting a check in this situation. People are not going through. They don't have to pay, to pay bills or have money, whatever. Happily, you got to say have any of those things but god has blessed you to be there you still want to give him an ounce of your time like five seconds of your time like, and and we and we we hide everything that we do like we hide it until we doing something great and we want the world to see you ain't got to be like everybody else i love being out of the the norm with everybody else you know you know where my prep or whatever you, know, I'm to say, you got prep absolutely i don't have to who said and i'm Said yes, I am. I'm gonna be the one. Who said? Who put the book out there? The traditional first ladies have to have a certain look. They got the word. They got the word. Big. Who said that? Where did it come from? No, you be yourself. Stop being people. Okay, I'm not gonna try to. Go. I'm gonna not go down that road. Hey, y'all, guys, say. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down that road because that could be a whole other situation. I don't wanna have to go down that road. Let me go back up here and see what y'all said. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> hey, I know how I am. Act for your birthday. Come on, Miss Felicia. Absolutely. Absolutely. It would never go back to the norm. norm. I mean, people think that it is. So, yeah, yeah, I'll you, so, you know, she, she got her own problems. She got to deal with it. Between her and Jesus, it has nothing to do with me, myself. Um, But, uh, people, they really, they really ready to go back to the norm. Like, I'm ready to go back to the club club and all this and you just like this is a learning lesson like, it's more things to life than what's been the norm like okay to not look like somebody else Miss Tracy talk about that all the time and that's what I, I like that too you don't have to have the same things somebody else has you don't have to look like your friend your cousin your sister have your own identity it's okay to look like yourself that's what I created a so different now we gonna love some of the same things or have the same you know idea about what we like but you ain't got to look like y'all came out the same womb. Like I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like we're twins. Like I say birthday twin, but me and Miss Watson, we share the same birthday. But she has her own style, which is a beautiful so I love it. I love it. Miss Watson's style is absolutely amazing. Listen, but and then you, I have my way, and so we might have some of the same, you know. But it's not exactly the same. Everything is not going to be exact. This might be some things that I like that she may not like, or vice versa. But we share the same birthday. But all, all I'm saying is, is some things. Look, come on, Gabby. I love looking like me. I love being out the norm. I don't want to walk around looking like somebody else. I like to. I love to have my own identity. I love to have my own way of doing things. Hey, God. Hey, lady, how are you? God say. Listen, I love to just have my own way of doing things or looking my my own my own way. I don't need. Uh, you don't have to have somebody. I'm just saying to look in exactly have your own style, have your own way. Um, you don't. In other words, what I'm saying with that is even with what's going on now, don't be so ready to go back to norm. Like they said, they open up the nail shop and the hair places or whatever. And y'all know I go every two weeks, but this has been like the struggle, <laughs> and I'm okay with it because I rather I rather that I wait. Then for more stuff to happen and I'll be a part of 
statistics. I don't want to be. So what I decided, I said, I'll just wait. I'll, I'll let the rush go, go on the way it's going, and then I'll go whenever. But it's not a big deal. I, you have to learn how to not always be locked in crowd. You don't have to always be. And I'm not saying nothing is wrong with those that went. Please don't get that talking about. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is. Sometimes it people um they didn't even wait until they opened that day. They were probably at the in the parking lot at five four or five o'clock in the morning. And was it that important? Have you do you know if they have done what they were supposed to do before you came in there or you just popped up or whatever? I don't know. I'm leaving that alone. I ain't going in that room. I'm just saying I'm not talking about nobody that has went done that. I'm just saying some things we have to um not always be ready to get back to life the way that things have been the way God has um, for this situation to happen and where we are now, we don't want God, uh, things just to go back to the regular norm. And we have been on punishment for so long because God is saying, Hey, I want you to get close to your husband. I want you to get close to your children. I want you to get close to your children. And we're paying all this money for these apartments and houses and, and uh, condos and whatever. But we barely here. We barely there. Now we've been paying all this money. Now when you there, where you've been paying your money at? Like, for real. your money into and it's a great thing i'm not even doing no complaining i'm just saying that um the norm is it may not be like a great idea right now so I just think about it um pray God ahead it before you even start making decisions and make sure whatever decisions you make you make sure you got him into that and into, into those decisions god is just he's just an awesome god and i love the way he loves us i love the way he just takes care of us seen people that have passed on and y'all know my sister passed um last month but with that being, being that person, what i'm saying with that is um with with all of these things that are going on around us god is still keeping he's still a great god he's still the same god like he have not switched up on you you got friends and family Loved ones that say they love you and care for you and i got your back and yada 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 and and the whole time they don't. But God never switched up on you. He never changed his number. <laughs> he didn't block you. <laughs> he didn't cut you out. He didn't say, listen, I don't want to talk to you today. He pushed block. He didn't say, I don't feel like it. I'm going to push in. He didn't say none of that. He answered your call every time. Every time you pray to him, every time you talk to him, he answered your call. When you don't have your friend, your homegirl, your cousin, your mama, your daddy, anybody that you talk to, he didn't answer that phone, but you... You got him to answer the phone. He's he talking and he's telling you it. I have to call him back. Um, you got him um to where he's been. God is just answering your every call, but you can't get everybody else around you. But them the ones I told y'all we give people we give people credit on social media so much. Girl, uh, such and such is my makeup or is my I said more. <laughs> my makeup done by. Done by nails, done by half it by. Do we give God that credit? I'm here another day because of God. Credit God. <laughs> do we do that? Listen, these eyes is open. God, <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here because I'm, I'm gonna start acting really, 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 really crazy. Like, really, really crazy. I'm just saying, I told y'all this stuff that I see that you know, and, and my husband would sit here and we'd talk about it, we'd be discussing stuff, we'd be like, you know what? Some of this stuff is just like, you know, it is what it is. And people don't want to give God his credit. People don't want to acknowledge him. People don't want to put him where he should be. People don't want to pray to him. They don't want to do it. I'm, not, I'm just saying, I'm not knocking nobody. That already, I'm not talking about that. Excuse me. I'm talking about those that have their, their suffering because they really trying to get closer to God. But it's something pulling and tugging at them, telling them not to. It's kind of it's hard, um, so we pray for those that are are still trying to decide what side of the fence that they want to be on, or what side of um, you can't be like half and half. Like it's not the half and half situation. Half to half lemonade. You gotta come all the way in. You are gonna have to come on all the way over to the lemonade side. You are gonna have to come all the way over to the piece. I'm just using it as an example. Y'all don't take this so seriously, y'all. Oh my gosh, she started talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, but we come down. We I come, we come down to that that way because we're so um, we, we're divided or we're, we're 
confused or we don't know which way we should be going. God, again, God is so good that we're um, when everything else fails, he's not going to fail you. When that, when that love that you're looking for, you seeking her the dirt everywhere for each and everybody, he got that love for you. He got that love for you. And it's the love that you're going to want and need to cover you from beginning to the end. That love that he can just wrap around you all the way around. You can't even, you be like, oh God, this is real love, huh? Listen, this is real love. It's real love. It's absolutely real love. There's no love like it. My husband loves me and I love him too. But his love is not the kind of love that God can give me. That, that type of covering that God can give He cannot do that. He cannot do that. But um, God, he can show you that type of love for you. Just wow. Nobody else has ever done, made me feel this type of way. Nobody else has made me love them or love me like this. Like this, because you don't put down everything else and block out everything else and don't give up on all this other stuff that's around you so you can get closer to him. And when he starts showing you and being there for you, you're like, God, you want to pray. But God, I already prayed. And by the time I got to my destination, it started working itself out. It started, it started working out. And I just don't know how to handle it. I don't know what to do. All right, y'all. I'm not. I said I'm gonna be on her live, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm about to um, let y'all go. But um, I just wanted to make sure that we we still don't forget about um, how good God has been to each and every last one of us, and just keep on making sure that He is, you know, because He's that amazing God, and He's a jealous God. So don't be trying to worship and praise everything else that man that's holding you back from God. Give him two of them. Bye. He's holding you back to God. God let it go. God let it go. If you gonna, you gonna come and get come closer to God with me, or I'm gonna let you go because I need God. I need him. If they if it's holding you back, if it's a fee, if it's a female that's holding you back, God let it go. If it's a friend, it's if it's a family member that's holding you back from getting closer to God, God let them go. You love them. But if you could cause me to have my um the type of relationship that I have with God, if it's causing me to be something else or somebody else, this is not me. This is not how I, I want to lead my life. This is not how I want to be. I got to let you go. I got to I got to move around. I got to go in and be somewhere else. I got something else. I got to I got to get closer to him. Me getting closer to him is requiring you acting causing me not to get closer to him. When I'm putting other things before him, I'm not getting best to him and the way God has been blessing me I got to give my best to him I, I'm not going to give him no trash no junk I don't want to praise him with my hands down in my lap I want to praise him with my arms folded. I don't want to praise him with a mean look on my face because that means that he's been smiling on me <laughs> listen I gotta go because yeah. he's been smiling on me he's been taking care of me and I'm going to put him I'm not gonna, I'm going to put him on the back burner and put you before him a lie I can't do it be able to function. I can't. I can't handle it because I need him to be in the forefront, the sides, in the back, all the way around him, all the way around me. So when somebody walk up behind me, and try, he already blocked before they even come up to me on my back. In front of me, before they run towards me, he already don't block them. They come up either side of me, and I'm looking straight ahead. He already don't. He already don't took care of all that. Like for real, y'all gonna make me find that song now. I don't thought about that. He's he's taking care of all of that, and I'm not gonna give him all that I'm supposed to give him, all that I need to give him, everything that I have that I can just give to let him know that I'm serious about this life that I'm living, that I'm serious about the love that I have for him, the type of man that he is, the type of daddy that he's been to me, and I'm not gonna give him all of that. Listen, I don't know if y'all heard this song before. Hang on, I'm just saying. I own the rest of this music. <laughs> God damn it. Listen, 
You're welcome, Miss Felicia. You're welcome. I love it. God blocked it. With everything else fails, everybody around you, all this other mess coming in, he already don't block it. Hey, lady, how are you guys? Listen. But um, that's what I, <coughs> excuse me, that's what I wanted to um, just say today and hoping that something that, that I said today or something that was said of, even on the comments or whatever has been helpful to somebody, inspiring, encouraging to somebody some type of way. Um, that's always my plan or my prayer is to be able to help one somebody. If it didn't help everybody that has joined on or clicked on or even later on, listen to this. Um, I pray there was something that was said that is helpful to somebody. And you can take it along with you and, and carry it on with you the rest of your life, the rest of the day. Apply it to your life. And if it's questions or an questions or anything that you need, you know, you can ask and box me or whatever and, um, and do that. But also I wanted to... Uh, say all of this before I get off of here um, To make sure that y'all all go like Share and follow the God Stay page if you have Already thank you so very much everybody That's been liking been coming been sharing Been been a part of the lives been A part of all of these things that God's day is Doing thank you so very much for being Y'all are true I truly love y'all and I really Appreciate y'all I do have some Great things that are coming up I told you I keep Telling y'all about um, but something new um, That I've been talking About with a friend of mine that we talked about the other day is coming so i want to make sure that i put that out to let y'all know about that just keep praying um god say it's gonna increase and do better and have some um help somebody it is it's help okay um but as y'all know i'll tell y'all to go like the god say page god say he has that out in the middle whispers and pews go like share and follow their page their page has a lot of great information on there that you need new content old content um it's been out for a minute so go out there and see there's networking information you can network with other companies other businesses um birthdays all kind of good stuff <clears throat> we're out here and we're just um trying to make sure that we all encourage this day um under the will of god uh, but please go like share and follow the god's day page don't forget to go like the Freeman chapel missionary baptist church page what a great amazing wonderful pastor is none other than the bishop the white collars Please like, share, and follow the Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page alongside with the Faithful Ship Church's page. Please like, share, and go follow that page as well. There's some new, inf there's some information on there that was from last year, like the uh, programs and pictures and videos. All those stuff is on there. So go out there and look at it and um, leave a comment, like, share. <coughs> Excuse me. <guys. coughs> So, please go like, share, and follow the Live Gloss Club. And as you already know, I am helping out with the social media side for the Live Gloss Club, which is a domestic violence nonprofit organization for domestic violence. And it is a great um, organization. If you know of a family friend, maybe yourself, that may need that assistance or that help, please go and check out the Live Gloss Club page. And also, their website is livegloss4love.org. Um, and Look at the information on there as well as the phone number. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. There's a number there. There's a Facebook page and also a website. So please go there, like, share, and follow the Little Gloss for Love. Um, also, don't forget that God they has a podcast. The podcast is up and running. It has a lot of uh, episodes out there, and I still have more episodes I need to upload. So y'all can listen in. But if you go and download the link, it's attached to this video. Go to once we get off of here, go to that video. Click on that link tree link. It's a pop up with all the only stuff part of this. That's to do with the podcast, with Instagram, with any type of thing that's social media, Facebook as well. 
it'll take you, excuse me, it'll take you straight there to Facebook, Instagram, and to the podcast. Um, so please download those episodes, listen to those episodes. You can leave a comment if you can. Leave a comment or you can email me at godsdex81 at gmail.com. Again, g-o-d-s-d-a-y-8-1 at gmail.com. And you can leave a comment, you can leave a recommendation, you can say, hey, I want to be a guest, I want to talk about uh, community awareness, I want to talk about awareness for lupus, for domestic, domestic violence, for child abuse, for anything. I want to talk about my business, I want to advertise my church, any of that stuff. Email me, godsday81 at gmail.com. I do get the information, I do get the emails, and I do get the inbox. So if you want an inbox, you can do that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you have any questions that you want, uh, you have And again, I get that information. So let's just make sure that we spread the love out. You have information that can help somebody else out there. Um, free food, somebody um, in need of some assistance, uh, someone is missing, someone is, um, whatever way we can to help, that's what we do. It's an all purpose, guys. Say it's all purpose. We talk about everything. We, we help anywhere we can. We encourage any way we can. We're there for each other. You know, you know how the relationships, friendships happen. Um, It's been a great thing, and I love it. So we just want to make sure that I get this information out to you all and see how we can help each other. If you can need something, don't be afraid to ask. If I don't have it, if I don't have the uh, the answer, or I can point you in the uh, right direction and say, hey, I know somebody that's dealing with or got that dealing with that. Please let me know. Don't be afraid to speak up and say, hey, I need help with food. Hey, I need help with this. So we can see what we can do about assisting you to get what you need. We don't want nobody to leave. Be lost and somebody needs somebody to talk to for um, suicide, for uh, any of those things. Let's make sure we get the word out. You can email me, guys, at gmail.com. G O D S D A Y at gmail.com. All right, I'm about to get back to my project that I've been working on. And once I finish, I'm going to tell you what I've been up to. Um, what guys they've been up to. What guys they've been super busy when we're not busy. When, when I'm not working, I'm still working. That makes sense. I know you got that. on smiling and being happy and knowing that the, the negative side don't have to stay negative. There's always something positive and something negative. And you, know what I'm you, that it's not you can see the good in something else, okay? Um, but I'm going to get out of here. I want y'all to have a great rest of y'all evening. Remember to stay encouraged. So hold your head up. Keep, keep pushing for God. Keep loving God. Keep doing the great things that you've been doing. Don't give up on your dreams and your goals. Keep listening to the keep praying to God. Keep listening to your cares for you. And he wants you to keep on doing those amazing things that you've been doing and not giving up. So continue to love him. Continue to love yourself. Okay? Don't forget to love yourself. Yourself is very important. Love yourself. You can't love yourself if you're not and try to, how can you love somebody else and you're not loving yourself? Start with you first. Self-evaluation. Make sure that you're okay before you make sure somebody else is okay. Check on you first. self-care start with yourself first all right i'm gonna go i want y'all to have a great rest of y'all evening remember god loves you i love you and there's nothing you can do about it i'll talk to y'all later bye guys hey listen to the beginning (laughs) i'm gonna go talk to y'all later bye